Riverside Farm here in uh, Central Iowa in Marshall County. Uh, I was asked to do a video on planting soybeans, so we're out here in a field, and I'll, I'll admit this field is actually already planted, but I, I, I specifically came back to this field because I wanted to show some things to you, and I'll get to that, but uh, I'll start off just by kind of saying who I am and what we do on our farm. So. Uh, yeah, I'm Ethan Crow. I, I'm part of a multi-generational family farm here. Uh, my family's been farming in, in Marshall County since the 1920s, and um, we've been involved with a lot of different things. I, right now, we are growing uh, corn and soybeans, of course, and we grow some small grains like wheat and oats and also some rye. We grow sweet corn and sell that through most of the summer. And uh, we've also got a cow calf operation and a grass feedlot. So we're fairly diverse for for 2020. We kind of get into a lot of different things and have fun with it. But part of the exciting thing about right now in this part of the spring is uh, is planting. So we've got all of our corn planted and it is starting to come up and and look good. And this spring has just been awesome we've had just phenomenal weather to get crops planted in the ground we've had timely rains and, and just been really blessed with with good weather blue skies and just a lot of beauty we've been able to witness this spring so that's that's kind of our a little bit of our farm um i will start off by saying if you if you notice it looks like grass that's growing in this field it's actually cereal rye and um, if, you, if you've heard any of the kind of buzzwords going on in agriculture right now, one of them is cover crops. So this rye was specifically planted as a cover crop in, into uh, corn stalks last fall. It was actually planted December 28th. We had some just gorgeous weather around Christmas time, and I had a little bit of rye left in the drill, so I came out and planted it in this field. The purpose behind the cover cropping is... Um, one of the biggest reasons is to help hold the soil where where it is instead of um, the potential to, to lose some of our valuable topsoil we don't want to do that so every time it rains we all know that uh, water finds its way downhill somehow so a lot of what we farm is is fairly rolling and has has some hills that would erode if we allowed them to but we committed a long time ago my grandpa started no-till farming in the 1970s and basically what that means is we just don't do we don't do any tillage we don't disturb last year's crop residue we just plant right into it this spring so uh, like right now we're planting into corn stalks hasn't been touched since the combine was in this field last fall and that again it's the same kind of reason part of it is just to help hold the soil where it is if we loosen up and disturb the soil it um, has a good chance of attaching to a water particle somewhere and going downhill and we lose it so, and, and soil is too valuable to let it just get away like that so we've committed to no-till farming a long time ago and we are by no means uh, huge into cover cropping we're, we're huge advocates of it um, but we, we're starting to kind of do a little bit more cover cropping every year and, and trying to do some new and fun things with that. Um, but this cereal rye is a pretty common cover crop that's used, um, planted into corn stalks uh, that will be planted to beans the next spring. So like right now we're planting just directly into this rye and also into last year's corn stubble. So we've kind of got a lot to cut through, but it works really well. Um, and then pretty soon here we'll come and we'll terminate this rye. So we'll, we'll come and spray it and uh, it'll, it'll die off and it'll be out of the way. But the root structure is still there to help hold the soil. And um, it creates channels. The roots go down and create channels for water to be infiltrated and held in the soil instead of running downstream. Also, it's the same with our nutrients. Any nutrients that we apply to the fields, we want them to stay. So the cover crops and the no-tilling help them stay where they belong. So... That's some of the reason on that. Uh, just real quick, a little bit, a bit about my machinery. Um, I'm a relatively young farmer. I, I, I started farming when I was 22. And this is actually my 10th this year, so it's kind of a milestone for me. But this this tractor 
was built in 1978 and the planter was built in 1987 so it's not new it's not fancy i don't have a whole lot of fancy technology in here but the mechanical aspect of it is the same as anything that's brand new so this will just kind of give you an idea what's going on out in the fields when you see planters and tractors rolling in the spring um, there's not a lot to say about the tractor some of the newer tractors have gps and have auto steer so they drive themselves this one i've still got to i've still got to hold on to the steering wheel and make sure that it goes where i want it to and that's that's not a big deal i kind of enjoy that <clears throat> but so um the planter has a few kind of special attachments that help with our no-till situation so these are called row cleaners <clears throat> and we use them as the planter comes through the field it these uh, will spin and as they spin they kind of move some residue out of the way so then that clears just a little bit of a path for the uh, whatever we're planting corn or soybeans to get um, kind of started without getting a, a lot of residue in the way as it's trying to poke up through the soil so that's the first step and then the next thing basically on any planter whether an old, an old one or a new one is that uh, this shiny piece here it's called a there, there's two of them and they're kind of in a V shape and they're, they're disc openers. So that just kind of opens up a, a trench for the seed to lay down in. And just behind those is a, a tube that drops the seed down into that open trench. And then behind that is these, uh, <laughs> these are called um, closing wheels. So that just comes through and it stitches back that trench that was opened up just a few inches in front of it so it's uh relatively simple there's there's a lot of moving parts but it, it's not a real hard concept um inside here is where all the seed goes and um you might notice that's that's a, got a pink color to it and what that is is a seed treatment so we use treated seed as a tool basically to um, help get these young soybean seedlings off to a good start um, whether it's a fungal issue that might be in the soil or um, just maybe a pest, uh, this seed treatment helps get that seedling off to a good start so that our, our soybean starts with, a, with the best, most healthy start that we can give it. So uh, I'll admit, I, if I didn't already, that this field is actually already planted, but I, I came back and wanted to show this one to kind of show some of the progress that this has made. So, we planted just right into this into this rye cover crop. You can't really see very well, but it, it was almost, I think it was exactly a week ago we planted this field, and that that's where that seed is right now. It's just, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's starting to sprout. And it's got a little ways to go. We've had some cool temperatures at night that have kind of slowed the growth just a little bit, but uh, for the most part, we're off to a, just a fantastic growing season. and. Um, just been blessed it's a blessing to be a farmer and to be able to watch these crops grow and uh, we just really enjoy it so if you've got any questions about soybeans or their uses or their the needs that we that we have for them and all the different ways that they're used here in Iowa even everything from crayons to livestock feed there's there's so many uses and we're we're proud to be part of the the uh, the network of farmers that grows soybeans if you got any questions you can reach out to me i'd love to i love talking farming so whatever you'd like to know you just let let me know and we'll go from there but thanks for coming along as we kind of show you what we've got going on on our farm today mm -hmm.